What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka Allfire. So in the wake of the release of the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, we've been getting a ton of reports this week about an upcoming franchise, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now yesterday, we broke from several sources that indeed Professor X and a version of the character from the Fox universe was going to be reprising this role in the upcoming film. We then got a huge follow-up report that not just Professor X, but a whole team, the Illuminati, which Professor X will be a member of will be showing up in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and following that we got the lineup the five member team nothing like what you might expect but making a lot of sense for the narrative currently going on in the MCU we're going to break down this report where it came from if we can actually trust it and of course go over all of the members most of which you will recognize, one of which lesser known. We're breaking it all down, the new Illuminati team showing up in the MCU. But first, if you're into daily Marvel content, everything from the anonymous 4chan plot leaks to official director interviews, trailers, Easter eggs, and everything in between, this is the right channel for you. So maybe consider grabbing the subscribe button and leaving a comment. If you do, that'll enter you to win all of our giveaways, PlayStations, Shang-Chi tickets, weekly Disney Plus subscriptions. All you have to do, be a subscriber, leave a comment down below. And if you want, stick around at the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So in short, if you're not familiar with the Illuminati out of Marvel Comics, it's one of like, say, the superhero supergroups where all of the top leaders from the superhero teams come together. Previous iterations of the team, including members like Black Panther, Professor X, Reed Richards, Doctor Strange, Namor, the likes of some of the biggest characters and team leaders so that they can act behind the scenes, not really as a fighting group, but what you'd expect to be able to share information and better tackle all of the threats you, you sort of need this kind of communication between the teams anyway and that was really their purpose now as i just mentioned some of the biggest characters and heroes the leaders of the groups respectively come together and usually make up this team but coming from the leak source viewer non who has been very very active as of late he revealed some information that not only would the team first be showing up in the upcoming Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but rather the lineup, not exactly what you expect. He goes on to report that, quote, this first version of the team will include Professor Charles Xavier, Captain Peggy Carter, Baldur the Brave, Monica Rambeau, and Baron Mordo. Now, four of the five characters we've met in the MCU, one of which is going to make his debut in Baldur the Brave. That was actually confirmed and reported via Daniel Rickman's Patreon earlier today. He's a trusted industry insider we cover here often at the channel, but let's go one by one and break all of these down. First of which, Professor Charles Xavier reported to be one of the two versions returning from the now defunct Fox universe, either Patrick Stewart or James McAvoy. I made the argument in last night's video when this news originally broke of Professor X showing up in the multiverse of madness. I was pretty sure it had to be James McAvoy. Sir Patrick Stewart originally had the same reasons for turning down the role as Hugh Jackman. They had an emotional send off to the characters and didn't want to reprise them, but we got an update today in a coy tweet from one of the writers over at Variety seeming to imply that it is indeed Patrick Stewart. So we'll have to wait and see, but oh man, all the nostalgia. If we had him come back, that would be amazing. The second character, obviously Captain Peggy Carter just made her debut in the first episode of What If Animated Series. And as we had reported about a month before that series went live here on the channel, this was the thumbnail I used of live action Peggy Carter that indeed, What If was clearly in the MCU and that some of the events and characters would go on to influence and eventually show up there as well. So no surprise, Captain Peggy Carter will be showing up in Multiverse of Madness. We've been reporting on this for months, just didn't know that she'd be making up an own little superhero team of her own in the Illuminati. Now the next one, a Boulder the Brave, maybe less known to some of you, is an Asgardian as you might have guessed and brother of Thor. This is basically how it goes down in the comics. Uh, his death is what's supposed to trigger Ragnarok, or at least there's a prophecy of that. So Odin tells Frigga to make Boulder the Brave invulnerable to harm. Now, during a battle with the Frost Giants, Boulder has a tender heart. He saw a bird and wanted to restore that bird to the nest. And so Odin accuses him of treason. And in doing so, tells two of the other brothers to shoot arrows at him and lances as well. Well, Boulder doesn't flinch when that happens, and that makes Odin convinced that Boulder may be the bravest as guardian of them all, and decides to indeed grant him the invulnerability. So Boulder the Brave, uh, invulnerable to harm. Seems a little overpowered, but hey, we're in this era of the MCU. We're eventually getting Adam Warlock and Galactus, so maybe not. The next character, Monica Rambeau, we were all introduced to during WandaVision, and it makes a lot of sense that she would have a place on this team because technically now I would have guessed that she's probably the head of S.W.O.R.D., and she's super powered. 
seems like the perfect position for a panel like this to have someone who has all of Sword's intel and is in charge of that organization and is also a superhero. So I can actually see her place on the team as well. And you have to imagine something like the Multiverse of Madness is going to impact everyone. So if they're going to have these people come together, play a role in the film at all, you would imagine Monica Rambeau would want to get involved. Then lastly, Baron Mordo, who I'm honestly surprised with all of the sorcerer hijinks that have been happening recently. We haven't already seen him in the MCU, but if it's still on his mission to erase all the sorcerers, well, the multiverse of madness, the battle between sorcerers seems like the likely place to do it. Of course, the reports that Wanda may be the villain is something that came out back when the film got it announced. That was one of the very first theories. People have clung to that, so they're going to need another sorcerer's help in Baron Mordo, as you see on this panel. No Doctor Strange. She'll probably be off fighting with whomever else. We know America Chavez is going to make her introduction. We've also heard about a ton of characters. There was a running joke about this film all the way back, I think in 2019 after it was announced. I used to say if even half the characters that are rumored to show up in this film actually show up, it'll be even crazier than Avengers Endgame. Well, that's before we knew anything about Spider-Man No Way Home. And as it turns out, this may be par for the course going through Marvel Phase 4 if the multiverse is indeed the focus of their next saga and it all culminates with Kang. Guys, let me know all your thoughts and reactions down below. If you're a little upset about this first iteration of the team, it's the first iteration of the team. Rest assured, as the MCU grows and we get more teams like the Fantastic Four, other members will make their way to this panel, and I assume that the Illuminati is something that will just roll with lineup changes throughout these films. Um, eventually, yes, we should see Doctor Strange, Reed Richards, Professor X, whomever goes on to take up the Black Panther mantle, maybe the leader of the Avengers. It's going to be awesome. I, I can't wait to see this. Honestly, Multiverse of Madness and Spider-Man No Way Home sound like absolutely bonkers movies. Just bonkers guys let me know all your thoughts down below quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before i let you go still giving away a couple of playstation 5s one at 900,000 subscribers one with the culmination of what if in six months six months six weeks i apologize we're also giving away weekly disney plus subscriptions we'll announce a winner for that tomorrow and we're also giving away shang chi tickets next week if you want to be in fact we're going to give shang chi tickets away every day next week if you want to be entered to win, all the same rules will always apply, always have, and always will for the giveaways here. Super simple. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber. And if you like daily Marvel content, just do it anyway. Cover everything here. Uh, also, make sure to leave a comment down below. Technically, because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of the video, same way we're doing here. Best way to keep up with the content has always been hit the notification bell and make sure that all notifications are turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, you like me, you like anything, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at I am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, Pandora, anywhere you listen to original music under the name All Fires with the songs you heard in the background during this video and some other tracks as well. Thanks so much for checking out the channel, guys. I appreciate it. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.